What's up, guys? Atom Bacon here. Welcome. I was trying to press X to jump. <laughs> I was playing Smash Bros. shortly before this. Good start. <laughs> What's up, guys? Atom Bacon here. Welcome back to more green. In the last episode, after escaping from a very large, ominous creature in the shape of a bird, and restoring the color blue to the environment and bringing the rain, we return to the back to the central temple, and with this episode. We're going to be continuing onward. Before we go too much further, though, I want to amend a mistake I made last episode. <laughs> I mentioned that the A button doesn't do anything. That actually isn't true. It wasn't doing anything before because I was moving while I was pressing it. <laughs> but if you stand still and press A... <laughs> nothing tangible happens! <laughs> Or, uh, probably not the word I was looking for. Nothing useful happens, but she lets out that little gasp, a little reminder to the fact that she lost her voice in the beginning. So, possibly a secondary goal. Might want to try to do something about her voice, although I don't really know what we could do. So for the time being, we're just going to head onward. We can get a little closer to the top of the temple now. You can't actually make it all the way up there if you're if you're skilled. I actually can't remember if there's anything of use up here or if this is just an allusion to later. I'm pretty sure if you jump down here it just brings you back to back to the entrance again, so Yeah, okay, nothing's happening. I thought I saw a crack spreading, but I was wrong. <laughs> so we're gonna head off to the right. And I believe this is a dead end. Yes, it is. Okay. We're going to head down and to the right. I'll be honest, I don't remember this air, this part of the game as well as I remember some other parts. But, got this. Nevertheless, it is one of my favorite, one of my favorite areas in this game, and one of my favorite water levels, honestly, just in any game. We haven't completely gotten into... Just why I like this area so much. Outside of the obvious parts of it looks beautiful. But this whole game is beautiful, so. We saw we got sent pretty deep down into the water from that high of a fall. Not that there's really anything under there, but. If you hadn't figured it out at, to that point, that's kind of meant to show you. That the water works kind of similarly to. Uh, to. Um, the weights in the pre in uh, the clockwork area. I like that. The higher you jump from, the more they get weighed down. <laughs> it's the same when you're submerging yourself in water. And now it's time to put that to the test. I'm not even going to bother showing what happens if you try to jump normally. Well, that was interesting. It's almost as if we're in... It's almost as if we went through into a reflection. But, not much we can do other than carry forward. Honestly, I'm amazed with myself that it took me five episodes to show off that. <laughs> it just completely escaped my mind, the first two recording sessions. And 
I'm just... I'm just gonna let you take me in this view for a moment. And once again, we have two branching paths. Unless I'm an idiot and there's nothing this... Wait, hang on. Maybe there's only one path. Like I said, I don't remember this part of the game quite as well. I love it, but I don't actually remember it all that well. It's water, it's lovely waterfall tree. Not much we can do with it, but it's pretty. <laughs> That thing kind of looked like a lobster claw. Like, look, look at it, look at it. Wait, hang on. Come on. Hang on a second. Get up in here. Look at it. It, it, look, it looks like a lobster claw. To me, anyway. We got these... I should, I should know the name of what kind of mushrooms these are. <laughs> uh, I'll put on sc the funny thing is I, I know like what kind of mushroom I'm trying to think of those like glow I think they're commonly called glow caps but I'm trying to remember the proper name I, I want to say Shinotic but that's the Pokemon based on these mushrooms not the actual mushroom I, I, I'll, look, I'll google what it is and put it on screen the name of the mushroom I'm trying to find speaking of weights though sort of dummy waiter thing, except that it only goes one way, because I don't know how we're gonna get back up there. But that's an issue for later. <laughs> Seems like there's more down there, but try as we might, we can't submerge ourselves, so leftward it is. these things are, but they're kind of cool looking. <laughs> they kind of remind me of little flying... sort of like eel manta ray things. I don't really know. Oh. <laughs> Cannonball! Or Cannon Square, I suppose. <laughs> Cannon Cube! Yeah, we ain't making that. So we gotta use... These. And we just barely make it. Cannon cube. <laughs> I'm not sure how efficient that would be to put a, a cube in an actual cannon, but. Cannon cube! <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> I meant to jump there. And we get. Yet another ability. We're so far down. <laughs> Some of this water is starting to crystallize. <laughs> we have a statue of ourselves. Interestingly enough, it blocks us from the front. But we can't stand on it. But maybe... We made it a little wider. Aha! I screwed that up. Nope. It will, it will, it will not make a statue of you if you're in the air. You have to be standing on solid ground. Not the ground I wanted to be standing on. <laughs> there we go. Doesn't look like we can make that. But, wait, if you look closely, you can see that my feet were actually floating there. That should be enough. One star down. Although, I, I will admit one thing I do like doing is you can, you can get some really funny poses if you just, like, Get some cool looking stuff there. Pretty 
decent boss. <coughs> Get one. Can I make that? Not quite. Just barely made that jump. Now this is honestly one of my favorite puzzles. This took me a long time to figure out my first time, but you can see that this is fall. We weigh this down, and it closes all the way on the other side. So what we need to do? I, I, like I said, this took me a good while to figure out. I think I was stuck on this puzzle for almost half an hour. I have to create a block, create another block, and then while that one is frozen... Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, I screwed that up. <laughs> you don't... You do not fail at basic platforming. That one, come up there, and then that stops it in the middle. Seems simple enough, but I got stuck on that for a hot minute the first time through. Yeah, well, it's so. Staring at my reflection. <laughs> Honestly, I wish that these ice caverns actually lasted a little bit longer. Not too much, but I... I we never see that mechanic come back again. And that's kind of disappointing, because I think that's one of the more creative ice... Sort of like a mini ice level within the water level. Frogs are starting to sing outside my window. I hope that's not. With that, though, get swimming mechanics. Jump out of the water. It rem this reminds me a lot of the Zora swimming mechanics in, uh, in uh, Majora's Mask. With that, water is no longer a barricade to us. And I would... I'm debating whether I want to end this episode here or not. It's a little bit on the shorter side, but I, I think this is a good place to end it off. So, next time on the, we're going to explore the depths with our newfound swimming capabilities. See you guys next time.